small technical issue with the camera. Um, this morning, um, guys, I'm going to show you how to make some amazing chocolate brownies. The reason why I love these brownies are because you can make it just using two bowls. So minimal washing up and you don't need a mixer. So everyone can make this recipe. And it uses simple ingredients, which hopefully, fingers crossed, is still available in the supermarkets. So what we're going to start with is just weighing out our um, ingredients that need to be melted on the hob. So we've got um, six ounces of butter, and we've got 10 ounces of demerara sugar, and we've got six ounces of chocolate. I'm just going to show you a really um, fun and effective way of breaking up your chocolate. This is good old Aldi dark chocolate which we're using for this recipe. So don't open it before you've banged it, and really loudly. Wake up everyone in that house. Okay, and then when you open this packet, it's going to be lovely and broken. So, this is some which, just like the pizza, I have prepared earlier. So I'm just putting it onto the hob now, and we're going to melt that nice and gently in the pan. Okay, just over a nice, gentle, slow heat. Now, while that is doing that, I'm just going to turn that down one more. Just to let you know, I have turned on the oven, so that's turned on to 180 degrees. Um, the brownies just take 30 minutes to cook, so if you get baking quickly, you'll have them all ready in time for 11s. Now, in your second bowl, you're going to mash up two bananas. Now, this is a really good recipe for using up some of the old bananas in your fruit bowl. Um, so you want to make sure those are all mushed up. We are adding some nuts to this recipe. Now, obviously, if you've got a nut allergy, you can leave them out. Now, another great gadget. Not that I'm a gadget fan, but I do love a few gadgets. This is a great thing for chopping up your nuts. So you're going to put your, um, your nuts in there. <laughs> make sure you don't drop too many on the floor. Um, two second rule applies. Um, turn that over. I'm just going to let the aggression out. And that really effectively and quickly cuts up your walnuts. Obviously, if you haven't got one of those gadgets, you can just use a knife. Kids, if you're doing this, just make sure there's a responsible adult. If you have one in the house who is helping you, probably a bit scarce at the moment, those responsible adults. Okay, that's all nicely melted. So we're going to bring that back over here. We are going to add our mushed up bananas into there. We are also going to add our chopped nuts into here, just like that. Then we're going to use the same bowl to beat up our eggs. And we need three eggs. So we're just going to crack the eggs in there, so you don't have to worry about washing the bowl. Just use it straight away. Bang those eggs on the side. While I'm doing this, I'm just going to show you the tin that I've prepared. So this is like a Swiss roll size tin. So it's 20 centimetres by 30 centimetres. It doesn't have to be rectangular, it can be square. And I've just greased it with some um, um, margarine and then cut some baking powder, baking, baking paper to fit. Okay, so let's give those eggs a good whisk in that bowl. And when they're all whisked up, we're going to add that in to the other ingredients. Now, give that a bit of a stir up. And now we just need some, our flour, our cocoa powder, and our baking powder. So let's pop that back on the scales again. And we need four ounces of self-raising flour. Oops, those scales are having a little bit of a moment. Let's get these scales. So make sure it's self-raising flour and you need four ounces. Uh, this recipe for, for some reason is in ounces. So you just have to, if you're working grams, just um, get your converter on, on the computer to convert it for you. So it's four ounces of self raising flour. We need two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And then, oh, it's smelling good already, guys. And then we need one 
one teaspoon of, I'm not going to put that one sink straight into the pot because it's got cocoa powder on um, One teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, so all the ingredients in, let's just recap, you've got um, chocolate, um, butter, sugar, you've got your, your walnuts, you have got bananas and eggs and flour, cocoa powder and baking powder. The recipe will be put on to our Facebook post, Facebook site as soon as we have finished so you can get cooking and baking straight away. Okay, so that is all stirred up, all looking great. Now I'm just gonna put that in the tin saucepan thoroughly. Not much to lick, left lick to lick out at the end. Okay, so just Push that into the corners of the tin. Get the rest of it off the spatula. Give it a little shimmy. And that is ready to go in the oven. How easy is that, guys? So, in it goes. on um, our Facebook page. Um, I should have had one already, a bite with Peter, but just worried about the ingredients at the moment. Guys, I really hope that you enjoy that and I really hope that you make that and enjoy it with your family later on today. Um, on Friday, we're going to be making scones and I'm going to come up with some great ideas for next week as well. Thanks for joining me. Bye.